Well, welcome everyone, and we are finally back on the road. The epic road trip chasing landscape photography honeypot locations finally continues, and we are off to Bonnie, Scotland, with the first of our bucket list destinations being Bowfiddle Rock. A nine hour drive that's gonna require a cheeky little pit stop at Loch and Yellen on the way. before we carry on down to our park up in the woodlands just outside Port Nocky, so we can do the first of our two morning photo shoots at Bowfiddle Rock. I'm really looking forward to this one, trust me. Welcome everyone, and you join me today at one of Scotland's most iconic and rugged coastlines. Ever since I saw this one, I knew I wanted to get here and photograph it. So this one is an exciting one for me. Join me in the morning of the first shoot. Well, I've never been here before, but I understand I'll make my way down towards the coast along this little path. Oh, I think I can see the top of it already. Wow, this really is another one that's easy to get to. <laughs> Wow, <laughs> now that's a pretty impressive view if I do say so myself. So we've got here and it's low tide and it's just turning on its way in. And hopefully we'll get a sunrise. Yeah, I can't see it, but you never know. So a couple of quick establishing shots from the viewpoint. Rude not to really. Uh, and we're gonna make our way down to the shoreline. The tide's coming in. We've got about 10 minutes till sunrise. Not gonna be one anyway, so I need to take full advantage of the rocks whilst they're getting covered in water before they get submerged. Wow, we've got some impressive wave action going on. Oh, dead chuffed with this, so I better be quick. Right, I'm gonna put you guys down and I'm gonna crack on. So I'm just waiting for the big waves to hit. I'm set up, I've got my little release cable going. One fifth of a second to see if I can get a little bit of nice motion in the crashing waves. Yeah, and just click away. A Couple of more minutes here and then let's move into another location. So as you can see, the tide is coming in quite rapid now. So I'm gonna try and get a few when the water comes up and then starts to recede from this side of the rock. Well, you've got to watch out for the rogue waves, man. I can tell you that one literally came up and covered my feet. Uh, and it was about 25 feet away from me on the last wave. So the water doesn't actually recede away very fast. It kind of just gently dissipates. So I'm not gonna get any streaking in that really. This place is amazing. And the mood of the day has changed. It's a little bit kind of hazy, like a sea mist, but just a touch of it. And it's just giving it that little bit of atmosphere. Oh, this is beautiful, absolutely beautiful. So I, I've literally worked my way all the way around uh, <laughs> this, this little area down here. And I've taken some from the left, some from the right, and now I've come up on these rocks uh, to try and get a bit of a lead in line down there into the rock. Oh, so glad I came here. Look, oh, don't know if that's picked up on camera, but the wind, uh, the wind, <laughs> but the chill factor has dropped a bit. We're getting a little bit of breath. So we must be getting close to zero. Anyway, I need to get back on. So for this morning, I think that's pretty decent. 
I'm going to pop back again tomorrow as well because I really do want to come away with a good shot of this uh, Beaufort Rock. So I'm going to pop up to the top there. I'm going to grab a couple of more and then I'm going to head off back to the van and have my brekkie. So I've made my way up to the headland and you do get a wonderful view from up here of the side of the rock and it gives you the most features for the uh, rock itself. To be quite honest, you can see straight through the gap to the rock that's just on the other end of it. Yeah, this is a very, very beautiful <laughs> point to take a photo, but I think down the bottom is certainly better. Yeah. So this place is to awesome well, salt and vinegar is to chips. It's amazing. Wow, <laughs> I'm so, so glad that I got back on the road and I could get to this location. This one is definitely one you need to come and check out. So Bow Fiddle Rock is on the Moray Coast and if you think it's just Bow Fiddle Rock it's got to offer, you're severely mistaken. Check out the harbour. Wow. It's an epic stretch of coastline this. And this isn't the only bit. So behind me is three creeks. It's a bay and it's full of stacks and arches. It's a bit of a pot at the end of the rainbow, this bay, I tell you. So you've got Bowfiddle Rock just peeking over there. Then you've got the Clarys and Dungeon Cave, Harry Cook Cave just over there. And right over there between the two, is Shitton Craig. Shitton Craig. Hmm. Yeah, what a hot spot. And this is all within minutes of parking up. Rubs up. Cheers, guys. Mm. Oh, good morning, everyone. And we are back. Uh, looking at it, the direction that we're going to be facing isn't going to get. What's going on over there? But you never know. So let's get down there. Let's get set up. I know where I want to be. I want to be down on the rocks like I was yesterday. See what it gives us. Well, it seems like I'm not going to be alone. We've got another photographer down there. Oh, that looks like there's more than one. I think there's two. <laughs> Right, so let's get set up. Oh wow, the rock's really catching that side light, that's beautiful. So we're getting some beautiful side light on the scene at the moment. But unfortunately, it's still quite a bland blue sky, uh, primarily behind it. So I'm trying to capture what I can that encompasses some of the red uh, in the right hand side, but I'm very, very close. To the tide coming in. Oh, I do get splashed every now and then. Well, there we go. That's the light well and truly up now. So hopefully I've got something decent out of this. Let me know in the comments which you prefer, the nice moody ones 
a little bit of red in the sky? I'd appreciate your comments. So I've come away from this shoot with two images that I quite like and I'm very happy with that. You don't always come away with an image that you're happy with on every shoot. But do you agree with me? Would you have picked those out of everything that I've shot? I'd appreciate knowing what you think and just as importantly, why you prefer those. I'll put in some timestamps for each of the images and if you let me know in the comments which are the ones that you like by the timestamp, then I'd appreciate it. Anyway, that's Bow Fiddle Rock done guys. I'll see you in the next one.